Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Piper. And Ronnie's entertaining her niece in the other room. <laughs> Another visitor. Yeah. yeah. A, a furry visitor. Um, oh, I think she looks just like our old dog, Scarlet. Shih Tzu. Yeah. Uh, this week, this week, what did we do this week? Did you already say we're here to talk about our stitching this week? Yes. Oh. So I, I, I went on my trip. It was great. A lot of you commented on my Instagram and Facebook about how you lived close to there and how you liked to vacation there. And you're absolutely right. It's beautiful. It was amazing. I had a great time. Jojo's so cute. So yeah. cute. I really enjoyed myself. And I love seeing that fort. I can't remember the name of it now. But it was fun. They went to like a dog beach, right? And it was attached to that? Yes. Yes. Uh, some questions this week. Jackie wanted to know, when will Daisy May be in your Etsy shop? That'll be in the Etsy shop on April 1st. Michelle, uh, Chelsea, would you show us how you get your fabric in the Q-snap? So I got a piece of fabric here. So the Q-snap that I use is 8x8. It comes with four snaps, like four clips. I only use two. So facing me, I always start stitching up in the top left-hand corner of my my piece. So I give myself like a half an inch on each side. You just clip it over. I clip it on the top and I clip it on my right. So now, is that half an inch what you're leaving for finishing or you go no, start down further? No, I start okay. in, in here because you have the cue snap so you still got some room there. Um, and then I just do my design in here. This is for my like three by four inches and my five by five and four by four, four, by four. inches. Um, now I would generally cut this off, but there are things, uh, Kimberly on Fat Quarter Shop showed this week, I just saw it in a reel or something, they're grime guards, you could use clips if you had this extra fabric and you wanted to bunch it up. Grime guards would go around the entire thing. But I'm able to just hold my fabric with this hand and still do the sewing method. So my top and my right are clipped. And then if I'm close to the top, I typically pull out this corner of the fabric so I can just hold it up here and stitch. I mean, you'll get the hang of it and you have to do whatever works best for you, but That's it's worked with my hands a lot better. Um, Rebecca, Jingle Bell Cafe, two questions. What is and how do I do the star stitch on Santa's beard? So it is, what's that stitch that it's like? A Smyrna. Uh, a, it's like a Smyrna. If you've ever done a Smyrna, a Smyrna is over four stitches and you just make, you go from the, you could probably Google this and they'll give you a diagram, but you go from the bottom left to the top right over four and then go from the top left to the bottom right where there's four squares underneath. And then the, the star stitch is over six. So there's three across the top and three Yes, three, three, three. Is it three rows of three? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's over three rows of three instead of, that's if you're stitching on 28, so that it, it would be six holes. Six holes, right? Right, right. So you, you can Google it and they'll show you like a- Graph. Uh, right, like do this one, do this one. It's very, very simple. It's like making a star with your foot. Yeah. Yes. But we just wanted it to have dimensions so that it looks more like cookies. So a Smyrna is over two stitches, but really that's four holes on 28 count because we stitch over um, two threads. And then on a star stitch, it's over uh, three stitch X's, but it's over six holes, if that makes sense to you. Um, Kathy wants to know which two sides do you clamp the Q-snap on? So I, I talked about that top and the right. Uh, Camille with home is where the wreath is. I looked up the item number and it gave me the option for small, medium, or large. I believe it's the L large. How tall is this? Like Three feet tall? It's 7.87 by 0.98 by 29.92 inches. That's the 
So it's almost three feet tall. It doesn't have an L, M, or an S on, on there, but I did put that in the Facebook group. I linked the, did you see the piece how, and everything. Did you see how much the price was on it? Maybe that they can look for that. Well, that won't help if it's on sale or whatever. It's $14.99 regular price. Yeah. So maybe if you look for the $14.99 one, unless they're all the same price. Uh, Naomi, I was also wondering if your physical items for prizes are available for international. Um, typically, yes, we'll tell you if something is like going to be too expensive to ship. But I will tell you that, I mean, it's taking forever to get there. If it gets there, that kind of thing. So, so. so you're better off to apply for all the PDFs because those you would get instantly. Mm, Mary, uh, <laughs> will you be doing any B charts for summer? We're going to show you a little bit of one today. Yeah, you're going to get some sneak peeks today. Whitney, are you all thinking about doing more all year items like the home is where the wreath is? Yes, I, I, ha I have a lot of ideas. You know, they just have to get worked in to, with the seasonal things too. Yes. Because so for all these years, I've been a seasonal stitcher. <laughs> Sonia, Priscilla, do you do all your garden work alone? Yes, unless Chelsea is around and she helps me or some of the yes she does it all alone i mean there's nothing that anybody else does like you don't have a gardener that comes and helps you, you do everything oh, i do have a service that sprays for the grass and bugs so that's it uh laura where do you find the daisy chain ribbon that you've been using on your dapper doodads you can find it at hobby lobby in the trim section that's back by like the sewing table. And I would think that like Joanne Fabrics or any fabric store would have it too. Debbie, do you have any plans to make other Jingle Bell cafes, especially for every day? I love that chart, especially your finish for it. <laughs> Tiffany, do you start your zinnias as seedlings and then plant small plants or just sow as seeds directly into the ground? No. Um, zinnias prefer to be started in the ground. So you just have to wait until the soil is warm enough. But... I suppose if you did them, you know, as seedlings, you just have to watch them a little bit more carefully when you put them out. I wouldn't waste your resources to plant them in trays. I would just plant them in the ground. They're super quick to germinate if the soil's warm enough and they're hardy. I mean, they're not finicky like a lavender or sometimes snapdragons can be finicky. Like, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't bother. But sometimes if you plant them in the ground and your ground isn't warm enough and you don't keep it moist enough, it, you won't have any plants come up. Not that I know from personal experience, but <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> Janice, are you going to have a wedding pattern for the wedding? Um, so I don't know if it will be a typical wedding pattern. I plan on doing a pillow, Um, but we do have some other ideas yeah nancy what is the pattern behind you with the bucket holding bunny and the chicken so that is the bucket brigade from the punch needle primitive stitcher magazine yes from so, this spring yes so you can get that where it's an online subscription or you can get the physical magazine and physical magazine should be shipping um soon they were having printer issues with paper supply and whatnot Maya, have you guys heard of Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds? They have a beautiful seed catalog at Tractor Supply. E I use them. They're a big heirloom seed company. So, yes, I have some started. I started some seeds yesterday. Um, I have a lot of their seeds. A lot. Deborah, question about the Supertunia. Do you buy yours at a garden center or order them? And how many plants do you put in your containers? I called a local store and they never heard of this variety. I can order them online and want to know how many I should order. So I, I buy a lot. <laughs> Super tunas are big spreaders. So, I mean, like two would fill up a good size pot, but. If you've ever seen the front yard with the wheelbarrow that at the end of the year, it's like this big, there's three Super tunas in there. So. Yep. Uh, Super tunia is a proven winner's type of petunia. But I usually only buy the. What what is it called where they're like like the bubble gum? What what's there's different types of supertunias. Some of them get huge. Not Bordeaux supertunia. No, not the name of the color. You know what I mean? Um, shoot. But I I buy those. There's not like the vista. I think it's just Vista called... Vista. Oh. 
If you buy the Vistas, they're huge. If you buy the regular ones, they're big. So I buy the Vistas, which are, there's uh, the, the Bubblegum, the Snowdrift, Fuchsia, and I think that there's a couple more new ones this what year. What about the Priscilla? Is that a... No, she, Priscilla is not, but she's improved this year, so we'll see. Oh. <laughs> Um, Cheryl, do you ever get little bugs on your tomato plants or any veggie plants? If so, what do you use to get rid of them? Lots of people are getting ready for their garden. So I yes, they are. I know when I was down there, there was, I was at Home Depot and there was a guy behind me buying or in front of me buying pepper plants. And I was like, ah, we're far away from yes, that. <laughs> we're still, what, a month and a half? Yeah. I see something over here I wanted to show, so I'm getting up really quick to get it. Um... The little bugs. So there's d different bugs. There's aphids and things like that. And I mean, it's up to you on how you want to treat those. Keep your tomato plants um, trimmed nicely, I would say, and that'll help keep pests away. I mean, it's inevitable, but just use whatever kind of bug deterrent you want to. And planting like things like basil, marigolds, things like that repel the yes. kinds of bugs and interplanting flowers that bugs don't like. I mean, that's a good way to keep your crops free of that. I don't think I had any bugs on my tomatoes last year. That, remember this little tiny tear tray from Hobby Lobby and mm -hmm. it was in white last year? Well, now they have it in black. You like that, Piper? Is that gonna be for your, your apartment? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's moving out. <laughs> She's not. But it would be so cute, decorated with some little tiny stitches. Um, okay, so then this week in the Etsy shop, we had two releases, Wednesday and Friday. So Wednesday, we are still on our spring. We first started with Gertrude's Garden. Then we had Tilly's Trellis. Then we had Gertrude and Bernice. And then we have Welcome Spring. And then this, is it this Friday? A bunch of you already Friday. finished this one this week. We have one more yes. in this series, so we'll have one more next week, and then... And you know our last one always comes with a bonus, so... There so you we go, you're going to get two more. Um, two blocks from Stitch Etc., they're on Facebook, and then two of mm -hmm. the wooden houses, those are from Scarlet Sky Designs, TX on Etsy. And then in our Dapper Do Dads, the first one was Egg Hunt. These are more Eastery. Scarlet Sky Designs for the bunny... Carrots for sale. This was from 141 Design Company. It's It comes unfinished. You just paint it. Did you glue it to something? I glued it together. Oh. Because it comes in two pieces. and It's smart. I mean, <laughs> it just stayed together because I picked it up and it came apart. So I glued it with hot glue. Then the easy for storage if you keep them not glued together because you could just collapse them if you well, wanted to. Most people will probably put magnets on it and switch out their designs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Snowed in Spring. This was last week's. This is a frame from Hobby Lobby. It's Barnwood Collection. Okay, and when you buy this, make sure that the square on it is straight. Both of them were crooked? <laughs> this one is really crooked. The, like, yeah, the, the and original you, square. Right, and I needed to leave, like, that little border. So it's crooked. This one is um, in my Easter bonnet. But I loved the daisies around it, so I think I'm going to do them all the way around this one, too. Ooh. And at the end of the video, Chelsea did a... I decorated that really tall tiered tray with these. These Dapper Doodads are the perfect size if you have that, like, what is it, six feet tall? Mm -hmm. If you have that six feet tall tiered tray, these are the perfect size. So she did a video of it, and she'll put it at the end of our video. I have to take the sound out because my knees were cracking as I was bending down. <laughs> this is 34. And I was asking you if any of the mess in the house was showing. <laughs> she got her doors on in her kitchen. You can see that on Instagram. She'll do a walkthrough once, once the, the hood, hood is built. Yes. Um, but it looks so much brighter. And I think the lighting is yes. different <laughs> in here today. Yes. We're really bright because she ha she has new light fixtures and it's uh, radiating. I'm so excited mm -hmm. to be able to see. She has like really low lights typically, so I'm always my eyes are messed I said, up because of cell I phones. Get, should I get different light bulbs? No, and she's like no. <laughs> because before, like when you'd go to wash dishes, like 
I mean, you'd have three day old food on it left over because you couldn't <laughs> see uh, to wash the dishes. I, my eyes are messed up from, I think cell phones, honestly, and screens in general, because I expect everything to like brighten automatically when you like walk into a room. It's ridiculous. Or when but. you're looking at something and you take your two fingers and you go to, to zoom like on a book and I'm like, yeah, oh, when it's not your phone. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, so then we had, we talked about the Q-Snap, 8 inch by 8 inch. I get mine off of Fat Quarter Shop. Um, they're just PVC and they're, they fit in all of our bags. Let's show you Kimberly. She sent me all of her Valentine's things. So let's show you those. I have to finish these. I can't forget this. So this is cookies and coffee. She stitches all of her things on chalkboard black Ada 14 count. They look perfect. They look amazing. I mean, her stitching is amazing, but. I'm saying if you don't want to stitch on. And if you follow her at Fat Quarter Shop on Instagram, they did a little video of all these. Oh my goodness. You can see me through it a little bit, but when it's on the batting or sticky board, you can't see through it as perfect. And this is light enough that you can see the holes without having to be frustrated by it if you're trying to stitch on black. This is Roses Are Red. This is the um, Backing Up the Truck series. And then this is the last, the February calendar crates. calendar crates. All right. So usually like today we show you all of our finishes, except for lately I have been messing up and not getting my last one done, which is par for the course for today. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you two releases for that will come out in April. But don't contact your stores yet because we're not sending out the info to the stores until I get the third one done, which a couple stores have requested that we send all the new releases at once instead of separately. So we will show you the third one next week on my Instagram. It will definitely show it in our video too, but we will show you the first two that we have all done. These will be shipping the first week of April, mm -hmm. um, depending on you know when we get them back from the printer and all that. Mm -hmm. So. We are showing you two today. Don't contact your shops today. They won't have pre-orders because they won't have pictures. They won't have uh, stitch count information. They will not have it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like the two that we're going to show you are parts of series. So yeah. Okay. So June calendar crate. This is the last in the calendar crate series. We Isn't started that sad? with July <laughs> last year. So here is June making it full circle. It's all strawberries. And I use the the Housewife Stitching Stripes and Priscilla's Pretty Plaids for that one. And then I put some of Chelsea's checks behind this one. Daisies, oh, where'd you get those? And also I heard from my basement. <laughs> also I heard that um, the shops are getting their fabric. I know Fat Quarter Shop has theirs. So maybe. <laughs> the the new, new fabrics are arriving in shops. Thank goodness. Because Henry Glass kept fooling us. So. <laughs> April Fool's. All right, so this is June calendar crate. It's so pretty. So Let's go strawberry picking. Yep. Yeah. And I love the little life is sweet. Because it sure is, right? Okay, we'll put this down by here. All right, so we told you that the next. Uh, Wreath Swap, Wreath Swap 2 will be out this month. No, April. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, for our next releases. So this was March. This was in Wreath Swap 1. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go through all of them. And if they have dog hair or anything, I did not. Um, or This is July. There might be glue strings too. July for home is where the wreath is. And then we can just show the rest up close. So July, August, September, uh, it's not like glue. October, November, <laughs> somebody shower. <laughs> Okay, November. <laughs> and um, July, December. 
So you get all six of those O's. July three, through December. In wreath swap two. Wreath, wreath, wreath swap one contains January through June. December. November. Aren't they cute? October. September. August. And July. We are super excited about these. So, you know, that completes the monthly uh, Home is Where the Wreath is, but I wouldn't say that you're done with Home is Where the Wreath is. I wouldn't say that, right? Right. Okay, so we'll put these there. And so many of you are finishing it and finishing your, your O's and, and- And cursing at us the entire time you're stitching those letters. And <laughs> I think that those letters are like the perfect thing. No, a lot of people have trip. said that. A trip or just sitting on the couch and being able to watch your show and not have to... At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you my plane story from last week. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can tell it now. I, I can Let, let's just say there are paramedics involved. <laughs> not for her. <laughs> um, this week we did get the... I don't think we can show it yet. So this is the Stitch Quarterly for spring. Wait, um, what does it look like? Fat Quarter Shop. It's cute. No, I'm just saying, is it the one that they've already shown? Oh, I don't know if they have Yeah, I don't know if they've shown it. So we'll show it next week, but we have one for giveaway this week too. Okay. Um, Stitch Quarterly is a club that you can join on fatquartershop.com. They send you notions like... Um, yes, and you get the little mesh bag. This is a cute mesh bag with the flowers. You get an exclusive pattern for so many class. months. You get exclusive notions. Um it's just a really nice little kit that they put together. Yes, very nice. Okay, okay so plane. So coming home, when I flew down there too, it's a really small plane. There's one stewardess, two seats in each row. And when I checked in, it said, do you want to change your seat? So of course I changed my seat to, seat to get closer <laughs> to the front of the plane. And I... <laughs> I, when I get on the plane, I take my stitching out and I have it all in my lap and I start stitching immediately while I'm sitting there waiting for everyone else to load and stuff. I don't like wait until the plane takes off to start stitching. So I'm stitching and I hear this man behind me say, I can't put my bag up because my back hurts. And somebody said, oh, I'll put it up there for you. So an hour into the flight, he starts like flipping out. He was laying across the woman next to him and just his back. He had a back problem and his back was spasming. So four guys got him onto the ground. So for the last hour and 20 minutes of the flight, he was on the ground. And it was a very tiny plane. There was only one stewardess on there. So she had to climb over the seat. She walked on the armrest to get to the front of the plane. Also, I was like, was she wearing a skirt? Because I'm still back in the day where no, you had to wear a she, skirt. She was pants. To me. She was but can you pants. imagine? Like, oh. Anyway. So he's on the ground. His his friend was in front of me talking to a stewardess for Spirit that was going to a different. She was going to Chicago to get on a different plane. I was not on Spirit, and um, he was telling her that he's had back surgery and that when he drinks he feels like Superman. So he does all these things <laughs> that he probably shouldn't do. And then he's been like this for two days. So he could. They the stewardess then came and told him you have to be in your seat for us to land. And they tried to get him into a seat. He couldn't do it again. He was in a different seat this time. And he was all over that woman. So it was like, oh my gosh. And you felt so sorry for him because he must have been in so much pain because he was yelling like he was having a baby. And I was telling the story to Chelsea and Cash is like, he was having a baby? <laughs> no yeah. way. Cash is in a phase. Where he, like if he, adults are talking, he wants to be in it. And he's like, tell me, t like talk to me. I want to know the story because she'll like make eye contact with me while she's telling me the story. And he's like, no, tell, tell me, tell me. And so then he's like, the guy, and he's redoing the story to Papa. The guy was screaming like a monster. He's having a baby in his belly and his back hurts. So he had a baby. <laughs> yes no <laughs> so anyway those four guys try to get him up into that chair they get him in the chair he can't sit down so he's back on the floor but face down this time and the stewardess comes back and and he's like i can't sit and she said okay then we have to have the paramedics come and take you off the plane if anybody's not in their seat when you land you have to have the paramedics come 
So thank goodness there was a fireman that was like right across from him that was like taking care of him. Can you imagine that though? Like landing, laying down in your back hurting and the, the thing. I, mean, I, I have to say that that pilot landed the plane like it was like a marshmallow. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. Probably didn't want him sliding all the way forward. <laughs> he said his wife was coming to pick him up yes. at the airport. Can you imagine being that wife? Like, I'd be like, just get in the car, Bob. Just get in the car. <laughs> no, and he's yelling. He's like, don't divert the plane. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, please don't divert the plane. <laughs> She was getting yelled at because she offered baby aspirin oh, and they, Advil. Right. They, the, the fireman was like, does anybody have any Advil? I'm like, I do. And so I give it to him. Does anybody have any Icy Hot? I do. And I hand it to him. And then he's like, does anybody have any baby aspirin? Because that'll melt because he's laying down. So I had my vitamins because I have baby aspirins in my vitamins. She puts them in dose. little baggies. Yeah. So I was digging them out, and he's like, these aren't in a bottle. I can't give this to him. I'm like, whatever. And then all my stitching stuff went flying. The lady next to me is trying to pick all that stuff up. They finally got him some muscle relaxers, too, from yeah, his he bag. Had, yeah. He From his own bag. But the guy walked off the plane. Yes. <laughs> he walked. Yes, because he said, I'm not going to an ambulance. It costs too much money. I got to keep going to college. And I was like, oh, my goodness. But he, he was, like, not using one of his legs. So, yes, he got off the plane. Okay. What was it, Jerry? Jeff. Oh, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, get in the car. <laughs> and you should tell your friend not to talk crap about you while you're laying on the ground. His friend just had his headphones on. And just like, like he was ignoring it. He's like, I've had to watch him for the past yeah. two days. It's time for somebody else to do it. They were going he's, golfing. Or he's something. been on the floor most of the time. So. <laughs> it ruined that other guy's trip. He was salty about it. Anyway, so that was my plane story. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, okay, we had oh, giveaways. Oh, we got to show this. So oh, yeah. how much of it are we showing? Uh, this is going to be the third release for April. It's not completed yet, so that's why we're not sending out the newsletter because we don't have all three of them. Yeah, that's fine. Um, of them done. She had it to stitch in Alabama, but then she wanted to make changes. She doesn't usually bring her computer to go, so this is the third release. Really cute. Uh, we had giveaways last week, but first I, somebody asked about this and I had my iPad out. I had it ready to go and then I just put it away because I have the memory of a snail. Um, you go to YouTube to see our playlist. You go to our channel and then up at the top, there's these tabs right here and you go to playlists and you can see um, home tour tutorials and garden right there. So you can see all the tours right there tutorials. I don't put all our floss tubes in one because I mean, you can just go through our videos and watch yes. them that way. I'm not going to, um, put those into a separate playlist because that's the majority of what we do. We don't do like right. vlogs and things like that where we need to categorize them. Last week we had giveaways. The first one was three opportunities to win Bernie and Gertrude. <laughs> Bernice, your arms are long so you can put the stuff far away. This goes to Chocolate S'mores, Nicola Powell, and Karen Monson. Then we had Snowden Spring. That was the spring snow globe Easter basket. Somebody did this with a brown Easter basket, and it was yeah, really it was sweet. Yeah, cute. Um, this is the geese. I loved hearing all of your geese stories. So many people still have <laughs> yeah, the, the, ge the goose, geese, yeah. out on their thing, or um, their mothers did, or neighbors still do. Somebody, oh, it's like shaking. I don't know what the deal is with that oh right there we need to buy a new one of those that has the clicker yeah do you guys remember those videos where i was sitting talk about how i was gonna buy a new clicker yeah mm -hmm. um okay so snowden spring super cute loved hearing about the geese stories lots of people had them cynthia brew lynn laforce and carol kistler i was gonna yell at parker i thought i heard him whistling but that's a dog right <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're doing a video. Why are you sitting there whistling? It's a dog whining. Um, the next opportunity was the Creative Carol bag. So Creative Carol on Etsy. She does these beautiful bags. This goes to Shelly Bean. Then we had the Fancy Floss Pack. So you can still get these at FatQuarterShop.com. They curated a list of our new fancy favorites. Uh, this is called the Designer Select. It's all classic color works. These go to Susan Giesler and Angela West. Then we have Birds and the Bees. This was sent by a viewer. 
That goes to Michelle Jones. Hey, Pumpkin from Fat Quarter Shop, Kimberly and team. Thank you so much. This was one of the Stitch Quarterlies, so they got, the people in the club got this mm -hmm. exclusive, and then they released this a certain amount of time afterwards as a pattern only. I think it's like two months later or maybe three months later. This would be perfect for your Fall Friday stitching. Mm -hmm. This goes to Beth Landek, Lynn Parker, Angie Hinton, and Abra Dexter. I do want to just like reiterate, I am reading what name is under your YouTube. So this past week I had, thankfully it wasn't something, I had something extra, but I had somebody claim it. And you know, I don't double check your name versus your YouTube name. I'm expecting you to do that. Um, but it was two people with the same name, but somebody's YouTube name was separate. Okay. But I had enough to fulfill it. But if there's something where I don't have yeah, two extra, have right, them, right. then I'm <clears throat> up a creek. Um, okay, so this goes, I already read these, but so <laughs> YouTube name, it might be different. There might be four Bob Joes, but your YouTube name is I like candy or something. Okay, that's what we're looking at. So make sure that you know your YouTube name when you're filling this out. Next from Fat Quarter Shop, we had a Bonnie and Camille, the quilt book. Three opportunities to win this, and you get the floss pack. Because there's a pattern, a chart in there. There's a, uh, a chart. These, like, this is, I just want a basket. Of this. This is what I want. This. What? Oh. They're all beautiful. Um, this goes to Nellie Stitches, Sandra Potter, and Edith Schneeberger. Then we had these two big daddies from Fat Quarter Shop. These are the Prim uh, Aura Floss. So this is, it slides, right? Oh, they're, in, they're all tucked away. I'm not going to. This just reminds me of those old scrapbook. Mm -hmm. covers that I would just covet when I was into scrapbooking, not scrapbooking, making cards. Dana Coleman and Kathy Eggleston. Oh, <gasps> get down. What is it? You need to go get her down. She's eating the cat food up on the kitchen table. <laughs> you have to take that part out. I'm not taking it out. Okay. Next we have pick a chart from our Etsy. So you email me uh, what chart you would like from our Etsy shop. If you have what you want right now and you need to um, just hold on to it. Just at least let me know that you heard it in our giveaways and that you're going to hold on to it till later. Diane Wilson, Nana Cupcake, Christine Crane, Nancy Harbath, Barbara Clother, Brenda Pegg, Ginger Hargraves, Betsy Cole, D All Good, Rarest Stitching Realm, and Mary Sarah Brady. Again, I've been choosing like one day in the middle of the week to do the giveaways. So if you don't hear back from me, like a couple hours after you email me, don't worry, I will message you. You'll either get a stamps.com confirmation that I'm sending something to you, or if I have to, um, if it's just stamps and stuff like that, then I write you back letting you know that I am also, it's on its way. If you win, I don't know if you said this, you need to email us at the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch at gmail.com. Tell us what you won and your address. Yeah. Unless it's a PDF, then you, we don't need your address. But we tell just... me what you won because that makes it 10 times easier for me. So if I'm sitting on the couch going through emails and you want a PDF and I have it saved on my phone, I can just send it to you from right there instead of getting up, going on my computer. Mm -hmm. get, it's just, it's a lot easier for you and for me. Uh, Creative Carol sent us these beautiful bags. They are so cute. They're just vintage -y. Look at this. Creative Carol on Etsy. They would be perfect for all the doodads. Look at these little mm -hmm. sheep. That was, this is the same one. And then this is too different. Oops. They're very cute. Thank you so much, Carol. These fit this size Q-snap just fine. So if you're wondering if you are stitching with a Q-snap and she shows this all on, she has an Instagram now too, but she shows it all on her Etsy. She shows different project size bags. Like this is how my stuff would be wadded up in here and it's perfectly fine. Okay. She and does then, really great work and Chelsea will link her shop below. Yes. And then typically now I've got hooked on, so I used to use the floss boards, but now I like those things that close. Um, this week I organized all my floss into some, they're typically used for refrigerator storage, I think, but it was a set of two different size, long clear boxes for all my floss. This is the cross stitch clutch. This is one that a viewer made for us with flannel on the inside, but you can get them at uh, Starlight Stitchy, Stitching Co. Deborah Blue, and she put the flannel on the inside, and it's so much better for not 
don't look at my messy clothes, but it's so much better for not holding on to the dog hair. Um, yes, but you can buy the pattern to make them yourself like Deborah did, mm -hmm. or you can, uh, I think she has a club now. I think she's doing all sorts of things uh, for the cross stitch clutch that she yeah. designed. So kudos to her for that. Cause that is, I think, very good organization. Yes, very usable tool for us. Okay, um, then we have giveaways this week. We have some really great plans in the works with Back Quarter Shop for more things. So we can't wait to get those. All the things. Yes, get those ready to show you. And All right, the first. Oh, <laughs> God, I almost fell off. She's okay. <laughs> I'm not taking that out either. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so the first one is... Number one is three opportunities. No, no. She's so cute. <laughs> hey, what's her name? Bella. Bella. Uh, the first one is three. Bella. Can you say hi to her? Hi. No. Three opportunities to win. Welcome spring. Number two is three opportunities to win. Uh, in my Easter bonnet. Look how cute they are. And make sure that your your board is straight. That's <laughs> fine. It's artistic. Uh, that's number two. Then I've got some stuff from Fat Quarter Shop. So number three is going to be the Stitch Quarterly Kit, the spring one. So that's number three. Number four is... Um, number four. Is one, two, three, four, five, seven opportunities to win Granita. That's number four. It's a quilt pattern. Yes. Number five is going to be five opportunities to win Oh Dear. And that is also a stitch quarterly that was. But it's just the chart. Yes. <clears throat> Number six is two opportunities to win. Um, was there mm. was there a floss? A mm -hmm. floss fix in here? No. Number six is two opportunities to win the Icelandic Gray Ada. Number seven is two opportunities to win the Icelandic Gray um, Linen. Number, number seven? Yeah. Number eight is from a viewer. And that is the um, Bank Creek flag, 1998. Number nine from Fat Quarter Shop is two opportunities to win um, stitch card set A. I thought these were perfect for spring. And number 10, let's do 10. Five. Five, yeah. five opportunities to pick a chart. I'm shipping a lot of stuff this week. So five. Um, okay. Yes. Five opportunities. That's number 10. Answer. You're going to answer which of what, your... But, yes. Yes. Go ahead. Answer which one of the new designs. Well, I'd say, I wanted no. to say your wreath. Which of the wreaths is your favorite? You got okay, to yeah, see all of your, the wreaths today. You can tell us which is your favorite and which, which you can't month? wait to stitch. Yep. Right. Which month? Okay. So in our Stitching with the Housewives group, if you haven't joined yet, you need to join. But here's your chance to... Should we do a Housewives Hurrah or should we do a... I thought that's next week. Next week? Yeah. There's we no already did two this. We did that. We did that two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we already April. did them. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. just so, get, join up so you're ready. <laughs> join up so you're ready and start stitching. So the next week will be the... Housewives. Okay. So not... Don't show them this week, but next week show us your Housewives or Just get ready for the Housewives or Um, What else? Because we'd love to see your faces. <laughs> We've got some more information in for the tomorrow's heirlooms in April. We can't wait to see you there if you mm -hmm. are coming. Um, then the July retreat is in Indiana. Mm -hmm. I and think that's all the October. We're going to Virg no, yeah, right, Virginia. Yeah, Ash. No, that's North November. Oh, October is the one in the mansion. Yes, yes. with only like thirteen of you. Mm -hmm. We're excited. Mm -hmm. our, we're, our calendars are like, <laughs> we don't have a calendar. That's the problem. We don't have a calendar. We don't have a calendar. So uh, while I was gone, we had really nice weather here, but last night it was snowing and today it's snowing. <laughs> I was sleeting yesterday. There was a hailstorm. Mm -hmm. 
but I just want to get out and get my yard started cleaning up, but it's too early anyway, so I just need to... Yeah, while she was gone, I was able to clean out some of my buckets, and she, they're the ones without the bottoms in them, and she's like, well, you're just going to take... And I'm like, no, I'm going to get a Rubbermaid container, I'm going to scoop that dirt, and I'm going to take it with me. So she's hauling containers of dirt. Absolutely. Do you know the price of dirt right now? <laughs> yes. Um, yes. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> what by the time you did that, you, you could... If you didn't have to buy a Rubbermaid container, you could buy the bags of dirt. But I can have more garden beds. I'm going to still buy more dirt, but I can have more garden beds. Because I already got this dirt. I might as well put it in something. We have to put it back in those. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I say things and then it just doesn't happen because I'm lazy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you get your ins finishing inspiration for us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. Follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that's going. And for all of you that are asking for a kitchen home tour, I can't do it yet until the hood gets built for the stove because the microwave came down and I had to order a vent. And the goose wallpaper is still there. Yes. I had to order a vent. So it's not here. Is that what it is? A vent fan? A vent fan. I'd ordered a vent fan and it's not here yet. So they can't build that until they have that. So it could be next year. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's supposed to ship the end of this month. Anyway. This we... is the first video she hasn't tried to bite me. <gasps> she almost tried to lick me. Oh, gosh. Also, um, in our <laughs> housewives group, Amy and Lee stitched. And it was they both showed them yesterday. Their Oh, oh Hello, Hello Spring. spring. They were so cute. Thank so, you for really sharing. Really cute finishing. Thank you. So if you haven't joined our group, go join it. I just hit myself again with my strings. Yes, I'm touching your strings. I, I like, like to that. touch my strings. People don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> People don't like that. <laughs> they don't like it. All right. Anyway, and we're not making fun of the guy that had the back problem. It no. Was just, like, she was just scared to at, death. At first, I thought I was, the plane was going down and I was going to die because he was like... I thought that he was, like, not all there. It was so bad. It was just, like, uh... No, but we're glad he got off the plane and he yes. was able to and be... hopefully he's okay. Yes. Well, his friend said he was fine. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when he drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate you spending your time with us. Remember, right after this, I'm going to put in the video of the tiered tray with all the Dapper Doodads on them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's from Hobby Lobby. I don't have an item number on it. It's typically when you walk in the doors, um, they have that furniture yes. section like it, before you get in the store. I mean, at all the Hobby Lobbies I've seen, they have that. So in that section, or if they have the furniture section down one of the aisles that typically the Christmas stuff is in, I've seen them there too. We have given the item number though in a previous video. So if you feel so inclined, you can go back and find the item number. Yes, but huge tear tray. I just put that in the description on Hobby Lobby. Maybe it'll come up. Okay, we appreciate you spending your time with us. We will see you next week. Bye.